um, and abnormal growth of cells. And when we think about normal cells, normal cells are born, they know when to die, they die, they stop growing. The unfortunate thing about cancer is that those cells never stop growing and so they grow out of control. Oftentimes they will then um, invade into areas around them if these cells grow. And depending on where they're located, they will form thing that, something that we call a tumor. When we think about cancer, we think of the way that oftentimes it's diagnosed, and sometimes it really is the patient who complains of something, a sign or um, a symptom. And so oftentimes though we, we know cancer can cause a patient to feel tired or to cause them to have a decreased appetite, to lose weight. They're very fearful, they're very afraid. They've got the cancer word. And I've learned through the years that when you get the cancer word, automatically you think the D word, which is death. So I was home alone and um, I got the phone call. Sorry. And he said, Sherry, it is cancer. One of the patients I worked with was having a very difficult time moving forward with treatment. And I was able to um, work with her, sit with her, talk with her about her fears. Well, she said, I, Ruth, I'm really afraid to die. And so that just opened up a great conversation. So I was able to ask her more questions, and see where she was at, answer those questions. And as a result of several visits with her after that, she was able to come to that piece where she knew that she had a relationship with Christ and that she was going to go to heaven when she died, which is what was so fearful for her. I have been a Christian for a long time, but to feel him actually carrying me through this was nothing I'd ever experienced in my life. Every day we're not faced with, oh, we're going to die. Oh, sure, we may get hit in a car accident or we may, you know, something else may happen to us on the way home or something like that. But when you get here and you get the cancer diagnosis, it's an automatic. So it's almost like now they're faced with it. And the Christian or the non-Christian or the believer, the non-believer, they're going to, they look at it like, wow, life is short. Oh my gosh, what do I do with this? Before cancer, I, I took everything for granted. You take your days for granted. You really do. You know, before cancer, I just lived my life like, I mean, I was a believer and, you know, we brought our kids to church and we taught them about God. But when you have, know that your days might be limited, you do think about things so much differently.